Leo, how are you? It's your first fairy here. Nice to see you again, Leo. Let's take a look at what the leap of Leo's are up to for this week, Leo. There's a lot of stuff going on for you. I feel like you've stepped into your power, into that optimistic energy. Leos have been through it, so now it's time to shine. It really is. So Leo, let's take a look at what's going on with the leap of Leos. Right there. There you are. <laughs> that's what I'm feeling, Leo. I pick up your cards and that's what I'm feeling right there. First card out, the sun card. That's your card. That's you. That's. Let's do a reading about Leo, shall we? Leo, your center stage, aren't you? Look at you, beautiful Leos. Look at you. And the energy that crosses you, Leo, is the Seven of Cups. I really feel that you are shining through that illusion. So this is giving you options. This is through seeing through the illusion. You're not going to take those cups that you know are a little bit sus. This is you. And this is, see all the cups underneath the water. See the cups that are... Are, aren't real, you're holding on to what's real and it's your love, your beloved is right there. Higher self. This is the Page of Swords. This Page of Swords, and it's the princess in your, in your deck, but this Page of Swords has gone through that transformation. Do you see that butterfly? And, and it seems small, it seems very quaint, but it's huge because it's brought you to yourself, to see you for who you are, for who Leo is, and that is the sun. And if it takes a little transformation, a little change of thought, a little perspective change, and it was just a small thing, it has brought huge, it's, it's like that small little investment with a huge return. And that's the return to you, Prince of Swords. And now you're kicking it into gear. Now you have clarity. You know what to do. You've made that change. And now you're bringing it to fruition. You're, those ideas you are moving forward with. In the recent past, the Prince of Wands, another night. This is the Fire Knight. This is taking action. In the near future, the Six of Wands to victory, success right here. In finding who you are, this is victory. Absolutely. How do you see yourself, Leo? You are that golden opportunity with the Ace of Pentacles. Absolutely. Look at this spread. How other people see you. The Queen of Cups. They see you as loving, understanding, beautiful. This is, and for some of you, this is your beloved. For you masculines, this could be a Pisces. For some of you. Um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but I'm really feeling Pisces. And do you see the, the shadow? Do you see the light in the dark? I see a moon and I see the sun. This is how other people see you. This is the energy of compassion, of empathy, of um, understanding, unconditional love, which is what you are all about, Leo. The Eight of Cups. Your hope and your fear. I don't think this is a fear so much as is a, a hope that you can walk away from those that are not on the ascension um, path, if you will. That you are charging forward to bring light and illumination to this world. And those, and do you see how all the, the cups are upright? Those are cups that look upright, that look full, but they're empty. You know this. You have seen through the illusions that they are all drowning, right? And you're walking away. Beautiful. This is really beautiful. The Seven of Swords. You're asking yourself, is this real? Do I have to walk away? Is this truth? Am I lying to myself? We'll find out with clarifiers. But this is a, a, a card and, and the energy when I see it. Because some of the Seven of Swords I can see is, is 
strategy is strategic and this with the word futility this is a feeling of am i lying to myself have i been lied to am i really seeing the wood from the trees have i learned anything and with the first card out yes i dare say yes and so when it comes to the seven of swords that which you might not see is the truce the the four of swords taking a rest of from the seven of swords really taking a mindful rest meditating could be something that you integrate into your daily into your life but really quieting the mind to feel the sun maybe just getting outside going if you have a dog walk it if you garden garden it if you like to ride your bike ride it but get outside get out and, and clear your mind breathe that beautiful fresh air to see the truth that you are the sun let's get some clarifiers Leo let's go deeper clarify the sun for my leap of Leo's, this is the happiest card in the deck. And if you're feeling happy, don't let my, or don't let the influence of others too. That could also be the influence of others, that their negativity is, is trying to seep into your happiness. Don't let that happen, Leo. I'm really serious about that. No need for that. So, look at, there you are at the very top of the sun there. All right. There it is. The Two of Pentacles, finding balance. This could be balance between home and work. This could be balance between friendship groups. This could be balance between play and work. Okay. And again, finding time to play. Because don't these two look like they're having a great time in this sunflower's field, right? Have you ever been into a field of sunflowers? It's, it's, quite, it's quite amazing. It's almost like going into a cornfield because they're so tall. It's beautiful. In the six of swords and moving away from that that feeling of having to juggle everything it could be making plans and again these are thoughts we have the princess and the prince so that's the page and the knight of swords the six of swords and the seven of swords there's a lot of and then the four of swords that which you might not see so there's a lot of of thought going into moving into a different way of being is what I'm hearing in out of this dramatic sort of emotional turmoil into calm waters into that of stability security into that of of peace peace of mind so this page of swords the hierophant this is beautiful especially with that I noted that little butterfly this is your higher self saying dive deep Leo into your happiness into your spirituality into that which makes you happy and if that is is spirituality if that is belief what it is you believe in being a teacher for some of you of what you've learned about it could be online you could have a, you could be a content creator where you are teaching what you've learned through experience or through research about spirituality about religion about belief systems from all over the world yes and the four of pentacles is really holding on to that which you believe but to be open as well to to build on a solid foundation the four of pentacles is also a solid foundation for me so what is your solid foundation for some of you if you've been through tower and everything has come crumbling down this is you rebuilding now it could be online for some of you prince of swords this is the knight of swords the justice card now this is libra energy and that is really um an energy of it's a social uh, zodiac sign so it's being able to make the connections it's being able to and it's right below this two of pentacles of balancing out um, not just opinions belief systems when it's right above the hierophant but balancing out 
um, different sides, different perspectives, and, and taking everything in before making your uh, conclusion. And the Prince of Swords can sometimes be reckless, can sometimes be this fast, um, almost attack. Uh, it can be read or perceived as attack. I always see it as going for very quickly in a fast way, that which you know, um, with integrity, with a, a sense of truth and justice. And we have the Justice card uh, clarifying it and the Wheel of Fortune. So just know that the wheel is turning in your favor when you're making these plans to make the move into something more stable, beautiful. Prince of Wands in the recent past, Leo. This is beautiful. This is your focus and foundation too. You could be getting a lot of what you've been working on, uh, especially if it is on the internet, if it has to do with the digital world, if it has to do with AI, you're getting, um, I'm gonna say legal, all, all, the, all your legal rights, um, ownership, uh, trademarks, all in order moving forward. That's, that's important. Prince of Wands is the recent past, and there you are. There's the lion right there. You've got, you've come out of hermit mode. You have come out of hermit mode, and you have come out guns blazing. Yes, look at all the knowledge. Look at the knowledge with the King of Swords that you have come out of hermit mode with that I believe you are now willing to teach and share with the Hierophant. Your higher self is saying what you know, you have to teach and do it in a way that everyone can understand. Um, sometimes the King of Swords can be perceived as a know-it-all. He can be perceived as arrogant, like I know everything, you know nothing. Sometimes, I'm not saying that this is, this is, where you're at, Leo, but just with the Justice card, just being aware that how you present this knowledge, this spiritual, this ancient knowledge that you have come into going deep within with the Hermit, that, that when you present it, when you share it, when you put it online, do it in a way that other, that everyone can understand. There's different levels of understanding and consciousness, right? Six of Wands, and you'll have success. This will bring you success. You're working with a small team with the Three of Pentacles. Um, for this victory, in, into victory, oh yes indeed, going from the three to the ten, this will bring the ten of pentacles, this will bring generational wealth, wealth and abundance with this victory six of wands card. And I always say the ten of pentacles starts with the ace, and so you know, Leo, that you are the golden opportunity, aren't you? Tower, called it. If some of you have gone through the tower, just know that it was brought down for a reason. You don't even have to know the reason. Just rebuild with that four of pentacles, with a group of people that believe that you are the golden opportunity. And don't, again, I see four as a stability. It always reminds me of a table, a three-legged table versus a four-legged table. The fours are stability, four of pentacles, four of cups. So this is stabilizing your money and your resources. This is stabilizing your emotions. When you have a tower moment, it can knock you off where you don't care, where you're like, F this, I'm not doing this anymore. Why bother? It's not working. And this is where the seven of swords is coming into play and it's this if you've been knocked off emotionally if you've been knocked off where you have built let's say for the last decade two decades what wherever you are in in your timeline leo whether you're in your 20s your 30s your 40s your 50s it does not matter whether you're retired and your kids are coming back home with their kids i mean i don't know where you are leo but don't get discouraged don't get knocked off emotionally. Don't get sort of um, put into this huh, nothing ever works energy of, of being, of rejecting your own self, your own opportunities, your own love, of being bored. This isn't working. It's taking too long. Why am I lying to myself? I should have did this when I did that. Like these are all um, energies of a fear. And to have this sun, to see where you're at, to have this love 
of thyself, of optimism. This is what Leo energy is all about. You Leo suns out there, you are the sun, you are the leaders, you are those kings and queens of wands that get the rest of us up and going, that make us feel as good as you do, even just being in your energy field. Now, other people see you, so just be reminded that you are, in fact, the golden opportunity. Now, when I also see this tower, I just have to read it this way too, right below this 10 of pentacles, which is in the near future, you see yourself and you might know that you've got to stick with it, with this, that you might get, be getting bored with, whatever that means to you, because it's going to bring down the tower and it's going to bring you the 10 of pentacles. That's for some of you. Queen of cups, that's what other people see you as working on your, let's say, psychic abilities, let's say your emotions, your um, compassion, working on, making it work for you. Ooh, yes, indeed, and the king of pentacles. Your emotions, this is what how I'm reading this, that the work that you're putting on, not just your material, but the work that you're putting on in your emotional realm and, and emotionally, um, getting st st stable with the Four of, of Cups, stabilizing your emotions, the work that you're putting into your psychic abilities, your predictabilities, if, you're, if you predict, um, and whether you speak it aloud or not. There are some times when you just go, I knew that was going to happen. I knew. I saw it. I, I do it with the cards sometimes where I will think of a card and then the card pops up. I'm like, oh, I don't have the receipt. I should have said it out loud, right? Um, but I know that it happened, right? So that builds up my confidence about, you know, calling the cards before they come out. And that's just what I do. What is it that you do? If you're... Um, psychic, if you see or hear or perceive or dream about things that are going to happen and then they do. Wow, this is beautiful. And this could, this work on, this type of work could lead you to the 10. I've got the 10 of pentacles. It starts with the two, the two, the four, the three, or two, three, four. I've got the eight of pentacles. The, the King of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. This is a lot of material gain. This is a lot of, of step by step by step going from the two to the three to the four to the eight to the ten. This is a lot of Pentacles. This is a lot of grounding. And what are you grounding? Are you grounding your emotions? Are you grounding your psychic abilities? Are you grounding your clairvoyance, your clairaudience, your, your clairs? What is it that you're grounding and how you're grounding it? This is how other people see you also. I'm going to say manifesting and materializing on these abilities. Eight of Cups. Queen of Swords, making those cuts. This is beautiful energy. The Queen of Swords also does it with the Leaper energy. And I have a King and Queen, just so you know. There is balance between masculine and feminine. The Queen can emotionally um, detach from, and I'm hearing, expectations there you are, your second major, the strength card, Leo energy. You can emotionally and mentally detach from the hardships that are perceived. And having the strength, the strength of character to get through these towers and emotionally detach from these towers. And then the Queen of Swords then, again, makes these deals makes the contracts, reads the contracts, communicates what it is that she needs and wants and has the strength to do so, even when it's difficult. Now, the Seven of Swords is the potential, so we can change this outcome. I believe you are having victory over these thoughts of futility, over this isn't working type of mindset. Yep, Absolutely. I'm going to switch it because we have the Six of Wands right here. You are having victory. Six of Wands over the Six of Wands. And clarifying the Seven of Swords is the Seven of Swords. So there is clarity. There is, like in the Seven of Swords, it's right above the Ten of Pentacles. If you have the Ten of Pentacles, you have not lost. You are winning it every day. So why these thoughts? Why these thoughts of I don't have? Ah, you got to change that. It's just perception. Your world can change just like that, with a change of perception, and that's a fact. The Four of Swords is clarified by 
the Ten of Wands. That is resting the mind and really seeing what is weighing heavy on you, on your mind. And for some of you, if this has to do with um, uh, responsibilities, delegating. Delegating those responsibilities to your team with that Three of Pentacles, to people that you trust, that you, that you respect and trust is what I'm hearing. Now, I see 26 and then 263. Let's do 26 first. I got some angel numbers on this, Leo. 26. It's important for you to be in the company of people who lift your spirit. Absolutely. That's what the Eight of Swords is talking about, too. Oh, I said Eight of Swords. Sorry. Eight of Cups. You could be in a state of Eight of Swords, but I'm just saying Eight of Cups is really walking away from those people that are not uplifting. So it's important for you to be in the company of people who lift your spirit. Step back from anyone who is making you feel small. Leo. I see... 263, God and angels are welcoming you back. First card out, the sun card. You may have wandered from your path for a while, but you are certainly reconnected. Beautiful, beautiful. I see 467. Let's go there. 467. Your angels are reminding you that you have the capacity to manifest miracles in your life. Believe in your magic. And that's what I touched on with the Queen of Cups. If you're psychic, if you're clairvoyant, clairaudient, this is what is, is required, is you believing in your magic. Don't talk yourself out of it with the Seven of Swords. That's illusion. That's delusion. That's, that's not what... Your magic is real. That's all I have to say. Your magic is real. 310 and then 84. Let's do 310. You are one with your higher power. Know that you are loved and supported. And any numbers that you see on my table, Libra, I called you Libra. Leo, interesting. Check out the Libra read, because it might have messages in there for you. Wow, okay, Leo. Oh, that was very interesting. It's got the Justice card right here. Check out the Libra read. Yeah, the last Libra read. Uh, actually, yeah, check it out. I'm just going to leave it at that. Check out the Libra read. There could be something in there for you. Now, any numbers that you see on my table, Leo, those are personal messages for you. Get your book and take a look. If you do not have an angel numbers book, go to the description box below, click the link, and grab yourself a book for all future reads. Last one, 84. The angels of forgiveness are drawing close to help you release past situations and embrace the lessons within them. And that's what I see for you, Leo, and I'm sure I'll see you again. Take care from your forest fairy. Bye for now.